everybody, my name is Farmer Phil and in today's video well, help has arrived, Rory has arrived from New Zealand yep. so a long way to come <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we were. So how, how long did it take you to get over this far? Uh, I think it was roughly 24 hours 24 hours, longer. yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, well, stop, stops there, stop yeah. over and everything, yeah Rory is here to give us a dig out for the summer for a couple of months anyways, you're here to travel Europe yeah, yeah, that's the one yourself and, and your partner yeah, yeah, me and Kate yeah. Tripping around. So, yeah. um, tell us a little bit about yourself. I suppose people will be interested. You're from a farming background. Yeah, farming background. Um, I work in construction uh, full time. Uh, but yeah, grew up on a farm and done a bit of contracting. And so here to see what the Irish weather is yeah. like, and it's spitting rain at us now at the minute. It's very similar. <laughs> <laughs> so, anyways, we're just about to head off now. Rory's going to plow in the 6290 and go plow dung in the 7618 in the dung spreader. So we're going to go grease down the machines before we head off. And we'll be on. So anyways, yeah, Rory's here for the summer, so now the extra pair of hands should make life a little bit easier and we'll be able to get through more work. We'll be on. And we're here now. So a nice pile of dung there to be spread. Just have to go get the load and shovel left in the middle of the field. So Rory is just ploughing the headlands of the other field and then he has a good sky of this one done. He ploughed as far as the dung was spread. Rory was spreading dung here for a while. And this is it. This is the last field to be ploughed. Everything else is ploughed except for this. So we're nearly there. We did have a supper rain last night. So it could be sticky enough. You can kind of see there, especially going that way. And where we always get stuck is just over kind of there. That's where I got stuck, Father Phil got stuck. Lots of us have got stuck in there. So it could be, it could be sticky enough. I told Roy just once the tractor keeps moving, you keep plowing, but if you start really struggling, we'll have to call it at that. Load and shovel break back over. Have a drum of water. I go in, I was told it was own water. And um, we give it a greasing because it's been on the move for a good few days now loading dung. So good all veneering with the jewel wheels too. Yep, no water to her. That's the wet spot there. I'm putting out dough. That's the loading shovel greased up. I'm absolutely chucking it down at the minute. Plowed this far, so he's just finishing the headlands out there. 
Uh, we were thinking we might have got sold yesterday, so we thought we might leave the headlands get sold and then plow it. But we didn't, so he's just finishing off out there. And um, he's plowed in, plowed this to where Eric could finish spreading, so we'll drive along here and get the dung out. Um, just try, the plan will be to try and stretch the pile of dung there over what's left in this field. There's 20, what's in this field now? 24 acres ish, something like that. So that's all done. Now we'll have to be careful as we go this way because it's in there is where everybody's got stuck. I've got stuck, Rose got stuck, Father Phil's got stuck. So as we told Rory, if he doesn't get stuck in this field, he'll be the first one to work this field and not get stuck. We just have to try to work around that. There's piles. Of, there's a pile of clay further down there to be moved up into that from where we clean, we've done a bit of tidying up in this field over the years. But there is clay to be pulled into that and a shore needs to be put in. So it needs to be done, but it will get done eventually. It's, it's soft here now, man, it is soft. But hopefully I don't get stuck. Not much left in the dung spreader, so it should be okay. This just goes to show you how whack round is. We just had to get as much as we can done and work around it as best as we can, but you know, it's not great now. Well, our votes go into this, so it grows best on, votes grows well on marginal kind of ground, so. That's us finished. Lock it off. Yes, A. We go load up with the next one. It is just after starting to absolutely down. So Rory's just started, he's the other field done, he's just started plowing out here again. Have a good few runs done, but Father Phil was hoping to get a bit of um, sewing done, but no, not going to happen after this shower. But um, yeah, no, it's, it's fucking raw red or no. So hopefully the wheels keep turning on the plow and he can just keep plowing because be nice to just get it done now. There's gonna be a big section there not gonna get done. Whether uh, what we do with it, I don't know. We may come back, we may leave it and come back to it maybe in the end of May and put a bit of oats or something in it to uh, whole crop it or we may just leave it all together. I don't know. It's 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 wet. Rooting away here, getting it done. Rory plowing away. There's actually doesn't seem to be plowing up too bad at all for all the rain. Sun's come out now. But it seems to be plowing up not too bad. Good, well rotted stuff this dung. There seems to be a good lock of steam and that coming out of it. Should be dinner soon. Hopefully the rain has passed and there's no more. But it's broken. It's a broken day. There'll be heavy showers passing. So I'd be interested to see how many of them we get or don't get. Yeah. Last year we sowed all of this. Every square inch of the field was sown with the umbilical tractor and the drill. That's, that's just the difference in the year. But yeah, we sold all this and this is all combined. It's just a wet spring. But if this is the only bit that has to be done this way, you know, it won't be too bad. You know, you will be happy enough with that. It's only watch, bro. Well, about three or four acres there we might have to leave and sow a later date when it dries. We'll see how we got on. So just picked up Rory for the dinner there. Uh, lives here to pick us up. Uh, sticky going. Oh yeah, she's crazy. <laughs> um, yeah, it's not too bad up this end, is it? But just going no, down yeah, the other end. Nah, yeah, this end's alright then. Down the swamp there, she's. Yeah, there's yeah, one. That's one way. Awesome. <laughs> yeah, not a drifting. That's one way of putting it. Swamp. <laughs> <laughs> it was here, so. So we're back. We're going again. Had a bit of a heavy shower now while we're away. Um, so it'll be just interesting to see now whether Roy is able to keep going or not. Could just get tight to be able to stay going. It, it's just cat all together. Well, it seems we're getting on all right there now. But um, yeah, so regardless of the rain we're getting, I'm going to finish spreading the dung because I need the shovel bra home so that we can get our silage bit cleaned out and be getting ready to cut our own silage because realistically I'd have cut at the beginning of the week if we weren't busy trying to get all the crops in. But however. 
So yeah, that's that's what's happening. So I'll yeah, we'll get the dung finished, but just how much gets ploughed now is going to be the debatable one. But um, we'll just have to see how it goes. Just waiting for an opportunity to get the drone up. Hard to know. You just get dry spell and then there's more supper rain in our bed. So the reason we're putting out our dung ahead of our tillage ground is to feed the ground, feed the worms. So dung is like a slow release and nutrients for the ground and for the crop. So it'll slowly but surely break down with worms and bacteria in the ground and it'll break down and feed the crop. And that's why we put the dung out so as to reduce our usage of artificial fertilizers. The reason we have a piles in the field, some of that dung was brought to us by other farmers and uh, looking to get rid of it. The other rest of it we brought down here ourselves. The reason we bring it here is from here to home is about two kilometers. Our dung spreader is only a six ton or a six cubic meter, which is relatively small. There'll be a lot of back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Did eventually get into a 10 or 12, maybe even 14 ton, whole mass 14 ton spreader. Yeah, we could have probably afford to bring it from the yard to the field and not have to create a pile in the field, which would be a more ideal situation because you wouldn't have the compaction that we have up there or any of that. It would be the more ideal situation, but just currently we're not able to do that. The ground, as much as there's water lying on it, it the ground is actually still very hard seems to have still be quite hard dry of itself when it's turned so the rain hasn't more hasn't soaked into the soil yet quickly that water soaks away is going to depend on when we get back out here so on so yeah it's it's just it's a tough it's a tough spring this to get work done but we're, we're down to about I was just trying to work it out. There were somewhere around the 80 acres left to sow. is isn't too bad. There's 100 in. Yeah, we're over We're over the hook. We're over the halfway mark. And we have uh, six acres of beet to go in as well as everything else is in. Uh, or uh, the maize is in and that. So, yeah, it's about three days. After today, if we get this field plowed today, about three days we'll finish everything. All the sowing done. So we need three. We'll probably need four good days. Now we need one day to kind of dry the ground and in three days, three dry days, to get it finished. And then we can move on to silage. While the weather is kind of broken once we get this done, we'll start moving into getting our silage pit ready, getting our machinery ready, and just be ready to cut silage as soon as, as soon as the harrow comes off at 99, the moors will be going on and we'll be knocking grass. That will be the plan, my plan anyway. So if I think I get a dry spell, a long enough dry spell, I'll fire up the drone there, get some footage. That pile of dung there, I think there's about one, two, three trailer load left to go on. It's, that's about, there's about three load, three and a half, maybe four load of this per trailer load. So yeah, what's that? It's about nine, 10 load left to do. Just do a nice job in the field. Like 
moving up. Yeah. We still got the ball. Flying it there, and um, just about I have a, about two more load there in the pile. But Rory's absolutely flying, he's nearly up on top of me now, or as in where the pile is. So, definitely getting on real well there. Yeah, you can see just how far he's only getting to travel because it's just <sighs> so it is. So, for those of you that may be wondering why was the door open while we were loading in that. There is a pipe, uh, it's bust. So just once I get back in to the yard, we'll whip the pipe off and we'll go get a new one. But it's just to get this done. We just want to get this done, get moved on. It's just about trying to take boxes, take the boxes off the list now, so we can try and keep moving. It is, it is a nuisance, just how wet things are. But it is what it is. It is what it is. There's not much we can do about it now at this stage. Real bad weather for, for March, most of April, and now heading on in for May. And that is all the dung spread. So, yeah. That has crap around it, so we're going to have to get that off at some point. But we'll just walk out into the field just to kind of show you how it's turning. Like, when you get out of... The top of the ground is greasy, is, is slippy. But when you get into it, you know, it's turning a bit raw, but it's not turning too bad, like... For how wet the surface is, it's not turning too bad. Now it is a bit better over that side, but like, it's not too bad. The thing with plowing it, it's going to air it up, it's going to help dry it out, and hopefully we'll get to it. This is going to be the last place we sow, just to give it the most amount of time, and maybe our four acre-ish patch at the back there might be good enough to sow at the same time, maybe not. Last year, just for example, Last year, end of April, we saw this with the drill and the umbilical tractor. You have seen the footage. And we were rising dust like there was no tomorrow. But this year is a different year. And it's bloody wet. So we'll just catch up with Rory there. And I'm going to be on home in the loading shovel so I can start cleaning up silage play at home. Because that's really, till it dries and we get sown again. That's all we really have left to do now. All good? Yeah? No issues? Nah. Just sticky? Yeah. <laughs> Getting there. Yeah. <laughs> and that's it. So we're going to be on home, start cleaning out the pit. And um, yeah, so the heel of the hunt, help has arrived. We now have Rory working for us full time for the summer. So that's going to make a massive difference to us. There is no machine there's no upgrade of a machine to be wider bigger faster that'll have the same impact as an extra person in a tractor getting work done so it should greatly increase our work rate and our efficiency and hopefully shape up to be one of the best years for getting work done hopefully fingers crossed but help has arrived all the way from new zealand Time to leave him at that. I go on to the next one. And that's the joys, the benefit of having someone. 
just more work's getting done. So anyways, we're gonna leave it at that for today's video. As always, please like and subscribe to the channel. Videos every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday. That's it for me. Good luck.